Hey guys, welcome to another Quick Tips. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do random sampling in Spotfire. Now, if you guys joined last week's Dr. Spotfire webinar, or if you watch a recording where we showed how to use Python data functions, I used random sampling in my data set. This is what my dashboard looked like. I was looking at Airbnb reviews and I had tons of data uh, with all kinds of comments about the reviews and I was doing sentiment analysis and sentiment analysis can be computationally heavy. Um, so what I did is actually I did a random sample on this to do it on a very small subset so that it would compute quickly during the live webinar. Now, random sampling can be useful in a variety of scenarios. So you can use it if you'd like to test out your calculations, whether they're in a calculated column or a data function, um, and you don't want to do it on the whole data set, you're just trying to build the analysis around it. Um, you can do that quicker on a smaller subset, and then you can maybe turn off the random sampling or increase the random sample when you deploy it for your real, uh, real world uses. Um, another way that random sampling is used is if you're doing machine learning and you're building a model and you need to split into a test and a training set, uh, you might do uh, random sampling on your data that way. So here in Spotfire, let me show you how I did simple random sampling. So I had this listing table which has all the locations that you could rent out in Seattle and I had reviews that were left by all of the guests that stayed in Seattle. And this review table is about 85,000 rows. Um, after I did random sampling, there was only about 435 rows. Now this is probably too small of a sample set to accurately represent the population. Uh, however, for what I'm doing here today, and just designing the dashboard, um, this is gonna be okay for me. So let me show you how I went ahead and created this random sample. So I added transformations, and the first one is uh, I create a calculated column, um, which you can do through that transformations dropdown. You select calculated column. Um, and here I'm gonna hit edit and show you the expression. So I just used the random function to generate a random number and I used a seed of one. So let me talk about how seeds work real quick. So in Excel, you might be used to doing um, random numbers already where you hit equals and then rand and you can use the rand function and that's gonna generate a value between zero and one. And you can see that um, as you make changes in your spreadsheet, all of these random values kind of change. And that's because there's no seed set. So the seed is just uh, the kind of a base value that the random numbers are generated on using the whatever random number genera generator um, you're using in your computational program. Uh, so in Spotfire, uh, you have to set the seed. Um, I just used one. Um, if I use two, then it'll give me a different random sample. Um, but whatever number I'm using, if I'm continue, continuing to use that, the random numbers are gonna stay fixed. They're not gonna change every time. Um, so you have to set that in Spotfire. So I just used one and uh, I hit okay. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna filter rows. So I can filter that random number column. Um, and if I want, let's say a half a percent sample, I can do all the random numbers that are less than or equal to uh, 0 0.005. Um, I could also do greater than 99 point, 99 5, uh, 0.995, um, and that will give me also a 5% sample. As long as I have, uh, I'm selecting um, just random numbers that are between um, uh, kind of half a percent there, uh, that will select uh, my random sample for me. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to exclude those columns uh, from my data set, just kind of hide them. So I just go to exclude columns, and after I hit edit, then you'll see that I selected random number um, and I excluded that column. And I just put all three of those into the same transformation. And you can see here that the simple random sample is gonna calculate and the 85,000 rows has been reduced down to 435 rows. Again, not a totally accurate representation of my distribution, but when I go into my dashboard and I'm going to my design, I can still get enough uh, information to actually build the dashboard and run some basic analysis and test my data functions. So that's useful for me. So that's it really for today's quick tip. Random sampling is again useful in a variety of scenarios. Hopefully this is useful for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.